this is Mitzi. I'm out and about exploring life from the mad side. So please leave a message. Hello and welcome to Mitzi TV. I'm Mitzi Soretto and this evening we're in London's Baker Street where we're going to find out all about Morris dancing. This traditional English folk dance dates back centuries and has migrated as far south as Australia and New Zealand. Those sticks and swords they dance with must come in quite handy down under in case a crocodile comes a-calling. Okay, it's time for us Morris dancing virgins to get initiated. So let's watch the Westminster Morris men do their thing. Okay, I'm here with a bunch of dodgy Morris men, uh, the Westminster Morris men, and this is? Uh, well, I'm Jason. I'm the dodgiest uh, one here. And where are you from, Jason? Well, I'm from uh, sunny Adelaide in South Australia. Um, oh, yeah, you're not supposed to be here, are you? Well, I'm, uh, it, it often comes as a bit of a shock that I'm a uh, Morris dancer, although we do have uh, Morris dancers in Adelaide as well. They're called the Adelaide Morris men. Okay, can you tell me, so what do you do when you're not Morris dancing? Um, oh, pretty much whatever I can get my hands on around here. Last night I went out to see Spinal Tap. That was pretty cool. I meant, I meant to pay the rent. Oh, to pay the rent, uh, I'm a uh, computer programmer or software engineer. A software engineer that does Morris dancing. I think we need to move on. And you are, sir? I'm Andy Dehaney Stephen. And what is it that you do besides Morris dancing? Uh, I'm better than him. I'm a software architect. Is that like an enterprise architect? No. This is <laughs> <laughs> it's a Star Trek thing. No, it's nothing to do with the Enterprise. Uh, what, what, tell me more. Uh, well, I just, I just decide and um, sort of keep an eye on how our software solution is, is going. And, and well, what got you into Morris dancing? I met one of the Westminster Morris men a long time ago. Um, he was calling folk dances. And I then enjoyed his, his sort of calling of, of barn dances and followed him around. He invited me into the team. And that was about 12 or 13 years ago. And I've, I wish I'd found it years before that. It's just like the rest is history kind of thing. And you are, sir? I'm Richard. And what do you do, Richard, besides well, Morris dancing? Uh, uh, unfortunately, you have found the three members of the Westminster Morris men who all write software. The Westminster Morris men geeks. This must be a new trend. <laughs> and oh, so you write software. Can you write me some software? Um, yeah, you tell me what you want writing. No sweat. Well, can you teach me? I need a new career. Yep, yep, piece of cake. <laughs> How long have you been Morris dancing? Oh, about 15 years. And, and do you know about the history of it? I mean, is what got you excited about Morris dancing? Well, basically, it looked as though these guys were having a lot of fun, and I thought, therefore, so should I. You know what? This was where I'm going wrong. Make, should I? Can I become a Morris dancer? Do I need to like get a sex change operation? Uh, that, that would help um, <laughs> if you're going to join us. Yeah. Uh, yes, that, there are teams that you could join as a female, but um, not us. How about the drag Morris men dancers? What about that? I have never heard of them. <laughs> no, I'll create it. I'll go and drag and I'll oh, okay. start the whole new trend. It would be, um, it would be much easier to join. Um, there's quite a lot of women's teams around. There's one down in um, near Southwark, I think, called uh, New Esperance. And there's also quite a lot of mixed teams around. So there's, there's a good you know, selection for anyone to join who wants to. But um, 
you just wouldn't be able to join the Westminster Morris men. The clue's all in the in the title. I want to join with you guys. You're fun, and we all we all have nice pints here. I, I don't want to join some women's group. Oh, well, thank you very much, gentlemen, and I will put in my application and join you, and it'll be the Westminster Morris men plus Mitzi. Okay, then. thanks. <laughs> I'm here with Andy and he's going to give us a brief history of Morris dancing. Morris dancing has existed for such a long time that we really don't know the origins. It's lost in history. Um, we have a, some documentation which proves that it existed back in the 1350s. Um, the most recent event of, of, of great note was in 1899 when Cecil Sharp saw the Headington Quarry Morris men dancing. From that he went around the Cotswolds and collected, noted down all of the dances. So we know exactly how the dances were from that point on. Now we have for you a special dance from the village of Fieldtown. The dance is called the Rose. And for this we need a rose. And I'm going to call Mitzi to come and join us. She has no idea what's happening next. No. <laughs> the Rose, please, gentlemen. Oh, oh dear! Oh dear! Well done. You didn't expect that, did you? No. Congratulations. You knew exactly what to do. Yeah. Tell us, young lady. Not all over. Come on, come with me. Does he? <laughs> come on. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, Betsy. Yeah. Morris dancing, everything you've always wanted to know, but we're afraid to ask. Reporting from Baker Street, London, and slightly flustered, this is Mitzi Soretto, signing off. <laughs>